Hello guys, how you doing? Did you know you can reserve a resource to do a series of tasks inside a process? Well, stay with me for a few minutes and you'll learn about it. Reza is here, welcome! Let's start with checking what is inside this process modeling layout. I have three resources. Mr. Otto, Mrs. Anna, and a mobile robot. Then we also have the controller for human, controller for the mobile robot, pathway area, three can creators, you see this process and two others, and then also three syncing processes. I want to create some can from here and send it over here using resources. Let's go to process tab. The reason we have these processes over here is, as I said, this is a process modeling layout. If you don't know how to make one, please learn the basics in our academy in academy.visualcomponents.com. Also, I have great news that I'm gonna attach this layout to the lesson so you can start right away from this point. Let's go to flow, connect stuff to each other. Now we have all the processes being connected using interpolating implementers. But we want these to be human controllers so let's go to this set controller tool choose the flow group interpolating to human change awesome look at here everything is changed to human if i press play you see that guys start to work and then they take the parse to the next side but let's have a look in here We have a 10 seconds work, then the part is being transported out by human. But as you can see over here, Mrs. Anna is going to the part, work on it for about 10 seconds. And after that, go to another place to take the can, then comes back to take this. Look, this guy is still waiting to be delivered. That could be done better. I want them to do the work on a part and then take it away right away. Look, Anna now is just working and then she goes to deliver something else. That I don't want. What I want them to do here is to send a signal. Let's go to the statements. To send a signal. Let's close this tool. To the human controller over here. Let's click on 3D selector. Then human controller. You can see it's chosen now. To reserve the resource. And here I would put an empty string, there is nothing inside it, because I want to use the current component, which is this process node hashtag 2, to do this reserving for me. If I want to send the reserving signal to, for example, this component, which is process node hashtag 3, that means I have to write the name of this process node hashtag 3 inside this string, just like this. But now I don't need to do that because this send signal statement is in the right component. So I can keep an empty string. Let's copy this, and paste it here. The only thing I need to do is to release. So I'm reserving the resource that comes here for the work and for transport out. Then I will release it. And let's give maybe some delay so that the part is delivered, let's say 30 seconds. One point to remember is that between this reserving and releasing, you cannot send any other resource to that process. And then that resource will be released only when you release it or it's reserved by another process. Let's check it. What do we have over here? So Anna is doing some work. Then she picks the part. Yes. Takes it to the sink. But you saw that Otto actually did some work here and Anna is finishing it. Anyway, that was the purpose for reserving a product by human. What if we have over here a mobile robot doing the job for us? Well, let's go to create can. I would change the controllers over here to be mobile robot. Mobile robot controller. Reserve the product then work 
mobile robot then release the product with the mobile robot controller release of course these empty strings stay as they are there is here some work as well let's change that to the mobile robot press play okay one thing I didn't do was to change this implementers to be mobile robot let's activate set controller flow group one the ones that are human need to be changed to mobile robot I would close this press play wow mobile robot passed right through Anna that's okay she's safe so here the work is done 10 seconds but he didn't pick it the mobile robot went to the other process but here after 10 second job he actually took the part as well to sync then he will continue he or she I don't know the, it will continue the job why is that because here we reserve the product as you can see but in this one we did not do any reservation well this was the whole thing I wanted to talk to you about hope you got something out of it have a good one and bye for now